to cook today. And we're going to make something that's so complicated. You want to get out a pencil and paper right now because this is going to be a biggie. This is going to be one of Elvis Presley's favorite dishes. And it happens today because of a movie starring Daniel Radcliffe called What If? So, Wallace, we should talk about the complex issues of our time. Can men and women really be friends or do you secretly want to bang Chantry? She has a boyfriend. Ben, Wallace is here. Hi, thanks for coming by. Are you trying to sleep with my girlfriend? Oh, no, God, I wouldn't. Don't worry, we're just we're just talking, guy. Okay. <laughs> You can't interact with a woman without sex screwing it up, but I can because I'm a grown up. And it's so adorable that you really believe that. Ben? Oh my god! Ben? Are you okay? I'm sorry! You look fine! Zoe Kazan is the object of Daniel Radcliffe's affection. And this is one of those things where this is a guy who can never get the girlfriend he wants, and all of a sudden he finds out. This girl could be his best friend. And then he finds out, uh oh, this might be the girl he's falling in love with. It's one of those smart comedies. Every time I say smart next to a movie, everyone gets scared. But it's one of those movies where you won't see the trailer on TV that often. Uh, it's a movie you're going to hear a lot of your friends that actually go see it talk about because it is a good little movie and a lot of fun. And the reason we're cooking one of Elvis's favorite things today, it's called Fool's Gold. And it starts off with a big loaf of bread like this. This is a sandwich that Elvis Presley heard about, I think back in 1976 or something like that, a place in Denver made it, Denver, Colorado. You can see why. You can see why pot's legal in uh, Denver after you see what this sandwich is, because this is one of those things, man. <laughs> when you get a crazy appetite going, you might want to have this. So what you do is you start with a stick of butter. Now, I, I got the recipe from the movie company. The recipe is going to be on the website. So you can have it, but I don't think you need a whole stick of butter. I think you just need like a quarter stick or so just to paint up a, a a loaf of bread. It's a whole loaf of bread. I'm using a French loaf of bread. In the movie they use Italian. I just think this is better because it's not such a big heavy thing. Okay, now you take that, you put this in the oven for 10 minutes, 350 degrees. I hope I didn't lose you yet. Okay, good. I've got one in here already. A little hot to the touch, I must say. And here it is. So here's what we do now. We take this loaf of bread and we're going to slice it right down the middle. Obviously, this is a sandwich for more than one person. Unless Natalie's there, maybe two people get a bite. Right, Natalie? Right. right, she says from off in the studio. Okay, now what we do is we flip this baby open and we're gonna go to work with a fork because we're gonna take this inside out of it. A lot of times we make stuffed sandwiches, this is a good thing to do. People don't relate. How do they always do that when they, you go to a sandwich shop and they get all that stuff in there and it stays in there? Well, this is how they do it. Okay, I'm gonna get all this out of here. Now what we're gonna to apply to this this is really something special, isn't it, kiddies? It's called Fool's Gold. So Elvis got one of these. He got it on his airplane <laughs> from Memphis. They flew all the way to Denver to get this. A guy named Nick made this sandwich. He's got a place there. They still sell it, Fool's Gold, called Nick's Cafe. And this, this sandwich shows, shows up in the movie, What If? These two, you know, they're falling in love. They're best friends, and they want to do something for each other. And guess what? They both get the same idea about serving up a fool's gold sandwich. Okay, so we got that, that done, right? Now we're gonna open up a whole jar of Skippy peanut butter. Ooh, let's get that gobber in there, huh? Okay, we're gonna put that in here. So far, so good, right? Now, the recipe will say a full jar, so when you go, <laughs> when you go to the store, don't buy that jar that looks like a garbage can size because it, that ain't gonna work. But this is gonna work. And maybe you don't use the whole jar. I think, you know, part of, part of the recipe is hearing about it is, is a joke. But I got to tell you something. I made this sandwich for some people when they went to go see this movie for some print press guys, guys that write about movies. They love this sandwich. I just want to apologize to all my cardiologists over at the <laughs> Cleveland Clinic because this is a foolish idea, but it does taste great. So some people will like it. You know what? I can't get that big spoon in there. So we're, I got some, and also now when you see the recipe, it says, and a jar of jam. Well, it doesn't say what flavor. So I went with strawberry. I mean, gr grape sort of freaks me out. I like grape, but grape sort of freaks me out. I'll get a spoon now that I can use the other end. What do you think about that idea? Okay, how are we doing, guys? You like this? It looks crazy, doesn't it? Oh yeah, already it looks good. So we got it toasted, we got that butter on the outside, that's what made it shiny. 
Now there's something missing here, something very Elvisy, and I'm thinking what we what goes in this is. Let me wipe my hands off first. A pound of bacon. There it is, my <laughs> friends. A pound of bacon. Look at that, lightly peppered, a la Moss Man, the way we always do. So in the oven, I have. It's probably going to be too hot to touch. I better use this. I've got a pound of bacon. So I put this in the oven about 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. I poured off the fat and I also dabbed it a little bit with a paper towel so it's not as fat as it could be, right? You know what we're going to do? We're going to bring out a cut, another cutting board here. We're going to put this on here. There it is, a pound of bacon. This is where the guys at the Cleveland Clinic are going. Moss man, would you like to make it to your next birthday? Well, the fact of the matter is, I do want to make it. So you're going to make me eat it instead. <laughs> and I'm not going to have much or any. But I got to tell you something, this is going to be pretty good. Glad I worked out last night. Well, you know what? You're not eating a whole pound of bacon. I mean, look how long the sandwich is. So you cut the sandwich in like little pieces, right? I mean, this is great. I never knew that Elvis liked something like this. <laughs> the dude, man, <laughs> he went down in a blaze of glory there. So here we go. We're going to put a little bacon in here. Well, huh. This is one of those things you're not going to just see on every uh, you know what? I tell you, man, uh, yeah. table here. Make one of these for a football game. And I got to tell you something. It'll be the thing that goes first, and everyone will talk about it. And you know what? It's probably as unhealthy as a crazy big breakfast brunch somewhere. You know, that's probably about how bad it is. If you want something that people are going to talk about, here like it is. Said, this the is it. peanut butter lid, my friends. <laughs> okay, we got a lid on there. That is not another Denver, Colorado joke, by the way. <laughs> hey, and you know what I do is I take a serrated knife. When you do a sandwich like this, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll do it out here in the middle. If you take this and you go through it, you're going to like crunch up the bread. Yeah. So what I do is I know this you is a little crazy. That. I score it in the places where I'm going to cut the sandwich. And then if you go dragging it through the bacon, you're going to pull the bacon back and forth, right? So I scored the bread. It's ready to go. Then I just go down and chop through it. That's a great idea because that is an issue that comes yeah. up. Yeah. Oh. So there it is, my friends. You can stick a toothpick in it. And in the movie, they wrap it in gold. So there is fool's gold. The movie's called What If? Daniel Radcliffe, Zoe Kazan, and it's a good one. And let me get. Let I'm me, really excited. I'm honestly really excited. Okay. Here we go. I'm getting the napkins out. Don't oh. worry. You go, girl. I want to. <laughs> okay, now you think that's good. Coming up after the break, uh -oh. it's all about dessert. How was that? It was really good. <laughs> that's great. It was really good. Hey, we're gonna go to a place where you can pick your pie. What do you think about that? Here, let me let me pick the. There you go, little girl. There we go. Okay, there it is. Fool's gold. That's why they call it that. We'll see you after the break. <laughs>